Who's a Hauser ready to do the Robot Vacuum Simulator 2013? Here we go. Because this is the game that was found. Let's do this. Oh, Jesus. Why is it slow? Why is it so bad? Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom! Look at that smoothness all of a sudden. We're robot vacuums. Yeah! Woo! I got a trash piece! Woo! We're vacuums in here. We be in the suck and the bluck. Woo! Okay. Whoever made this game, I think it was, uh, shit. Stolidus Simulations? You know, they're pretty freaking neat. Because they make simulations. Like robot vacuums. Also, this music. This music is the perfect reenactment for music for robot thingies. Like, it's all... Oh. Oh! Oh my fucking god! This is the best robot vacuum music ever! Ah! Uh, smooth jazz and sucking and, like, this apartment place all at the same time? I'm pretty sure we're in, like, France. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's, like, two Eiffel Towers over there in the corner. So, you know, that's pretty neat. Also, I don't know if I win this game or I just play it, but I'm playing it and I'm gonna win it. That door, by the way. That's the most realistic door I've ever mm, seen. <laughs> Just kidding. But you know, we're doing it. It's the robot. And... God, this music. It makes me happy. Like, you know, jazz, man. Why isn't jazz a standard for music and games? Why wasn't freaking, like, games like. Metal Gear, and Killzone, and Call of Duty, and Battlefield. Why wasn't their entire soundtrack just ba doo ba doo ba doo ba jazz and stuff? Why ain't that a thing? Oh, Jesus, I'm on the carpet. I'm slowing a bit. Yay, carpets. Yay. Also, those paper dust ball wads are pretty intense. Cleaned up the living room. Woo! Another high five. Let's go clean the shitter. Shitter. Robot vacuum simulationing. Yeah. Ooh. That toilet. It's like. Uh, it looks a little bit better now, but at first glance, imagine like one of those. Uh, I want to say hallucinogens, but I know it's not hallucin. Oh, there's moving. Hallucinogens toilet light bulbs. Halogens. I forget what the name is called, but I'm pretty sure it starts with an H. It's got like the spiral. That kind of looks like they just made the spirals solid and then cut it in half. Oh, I gotta go backwards. Gosh, robots are so advanced. Oh, wow. That tight turning radius. Let's go clean the drains. I made it. It's like playing limbo with shower curtains and your life. Because your life is clean. The clean life. Ow. Ow. Also, why does this look... Why does my robot vacuum look a lot like one of those Vicks Vapo air thingies? Like, if you're ever sick as a kid, you know what I'm talking about. It's like this big old tub of thing that you basically just pour water in and it's like, boom, steam! And then it makes steam and then it fills your nostrocates and then makes you breathe again. So, it's, so you can do a good sleep. But, you know, that and stuff. Go into the bedroom! Wow, look at that art. It's a bunny rabbit playing on a game system with a bear in the background of in front of him watching. Woo! Like. Like, 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 like. Like, 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 like. Good. And stuff. This is probably going to be the best game of, like, 2016. By the way, I'm getting to play this game, like, three years in advance, because it's totally not 2014. I'm playing this game, like, three years in advance, and it's gonna be, you know, really cool, because this is, like, pre-pre-pre-pre-alpha, and 
these people who made this game came to me specifically was like, wow, your, your videos are so amazing, we're just gonna funnel you some of our game creations. And I was like, oh no, you guys don't have to do that, I ain't that special. But they're all like, nah, here you go, have some games. So then I, I just like, okay, if you say so. And the first game they handed me was Robot Vacuum Simulator. By the way, like little like a thingy note at the bottom that probably won't be there, but I'm gonna be saying it here now anyway. That didn't happen. This is actually already out and stuff, and you can get it for free and stuff. So you know, you can get it if you really want to vacuum simulate. Hmm, there's a room that I'm missing. I thought that kitchen. I bet you it's a kitchen. The kitchen. I was right. I'm almost been vacuum hero, man. Look at that skyline picture. It's. Oh, it's actually outside. Is that supposed to be outside? That's supposed to be outside. I thought it was a picture. But then I'm like, why is there a thing down the middle? And then, because it's a window. It just blew my mind. Look at those cabinets. They're so 3D. You can't actually do that in real life. Cabinets aren't 3D. What do you think we're playing here? Realistic Simulator 20 now? What are you doing? We're actually robot simulating. How else do you think they make such finely crafted robot simulation robots? Right here. This is where the magic happens, baby. They get crazy people like us testers. Oh, it's close. Cutting close. I gotta focus. Oh! Let's rotate in place. Because I'm a robot and make the squeeze! Squeeze! Ugh. I'm gonna get that one, I'm gonna get that one, I'm gonna get the other one, I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win Robot Vacuum Cleaning Simulator 20 the, the, the now. 20 now. Sticking with that. <laughs> this is so cool and something. I get to vacuum simulate. It's like, this is what people do when they're all like, nah man, I don't want to do work. Then they're all like, let's go play a video game of something doing work for me, and it makes me feel justified about myself. That's what they made this game for. This is the future of humanity. This is... I wonder who uh, did everything, Sebastian Romanski. Oh, I like this guy. If he made this music, I don't know about the the singing, but he gets that little fun. Hendrik Vigelki Anderson, lead Pepsi drinker. Wow, actors, me. Look at that Ronald Ray gun. It's right there. You see it on the screen. It's right there. Right there. This game's so cool. I wonder if it's gonna like. Oh. I think it's still supposed to be. Oh my god, they got through all the actors. There were so many actors. Also, audio engineers, one word now apparently. Woo! Bonnie and the Buckets. So, basically, what I'm saying out of this entire game is make sure you don't do things important in life and just play games about stuff doing for you important in life. And then, you know, old Thorvo called Cricking, he's playing bass, wow! Also, this is totally like Super Foreign Game McGee, but they're all like, let's put jazz. And then I enjoy that a lot. Cause you know, you can get me with a pinch of jazz and a spice of flavor, which is totally what they did. Thanking me for playing. But I thank you for watching. Thanks for thanking. Wow. I don't know what's going to happen now. If I cut out like mid-sentence because it just stops the game altogether. I don't know what's doing that. But I might do that. Okay, good. Back to the beginning. Boom. And if you notice, there's a dual mode. So I might, just maybe, have to uh, revisit with a friend someday and see who will do the win. You know. No biggie, though. You should probably all, like, 
be happy things though on this so you can make me happy about myself because I need you guys to confirm my righteousness because I am super self-centered man have to float my ego man out my butt man degree man so you know you know you know yeah good it's fun I mean for what it is it was fun and stuff look at that wood floor Vix vapor rub good things make me happy with the things that you know that I can enjoy having you see do Kiba <laughs>